Hello my crafty loving friends, welcome to Purpose My Way, I'm Shelly. Today we're going to do a trash to treasure flip along with a couple of yard sale finds to sell in my booth and I wanted to bring you guys along, so here we go. This is my trash to treasure. This beautiful picture was at the dump getting ready to be thrown away because it had broken glass in it and I was like, oh no, that can't happen. So I picked it up before they threw it and I brought it home. So what I'm showing you here is the actual picture. I took the backing off and it's got little sheep all over it and it's really a very folky, uh, primitive picture and I just love it. Now the crack was down kind of the middle and it must have rained or gotten some dew on it because it was damp and it had a yellowish stain on one side where the water had seeped through. And I was really nervous about that, uh, hoping that it didn't stay. But once I took it out of the frame, it dried up nicely and you couldn't even tell that it had been wet. So I was very excited. So I'm just taking some of my folk art black paint and I'm going to give this two coats of black paint uh, around the frame so that it will match better with the picture that's in it. This is a brand new piece of glass. I went to a local hardware store, told them my measurements, and they cut it for me, and it was not a problem at all. So now I'm taking the picture. As you can see, there's a little bit of water stain on the back of the picture, and that's where uh, the picture was wet when I, when I found it. So uh, it did dry the front, and it didn't leave a stain, but on the back it did. So now I'm just taking the staples that I pulled out to take this apart and I'm uh, just reusing them and putting them back into the frame to hold the back of the picture in and the glass. And that went pretty well. Those went right in. Not a problem. I usually keep some rolled craft paper from Dollar Tree uh, in, at my, you know, just handy and so that I can do things like this like cover backs of picture frames but I guess I ran out and I never replenished so this is the paper I cut down that my uh, glass came in for my picture frame so I'm just cutting it down it's a little bit wrinkled but it's going to be on the back and up against a wall so it's not going to be a big problem I got this trash bin from an indoor yard sale that I went to recently for a dollar. Uh, looking it up, I think it was from Dollar Tree anyway, so they probably paid a dollar for it uh, if it was before the 25 cent hike. So either way, I only paid a dollar for it, and I'm going to give it my specialty stain, darkened stain look. I don't like the reddish orangey colors that it has. Uh, so this is Antique Wax from Waverly. I suppose you could use any kind. And then uh, a little bit of black paint and then watered down quite a bit as well. So I mix it all together and then I brush it on. Now I did do two coats on this. Uh, I didn't like that it wasn't... I watered it down a lot last time I used it and I didn't like that it wasn't darkening up the way I wanted so I waited for it to dry just a little bit and then I added a second coat on there and that darkened it up more for me. So I just brushed it all over and then I just wipe it back and so now I decided I'm going to take my, I have a paintbrush with some black paint on it left over from the previous project. So I'm just going to take it and brush it on to the edge. And then I'm going to take my rag and wipe it back to make it look distressed before it dries and that way I don't have to use a piece of sandpaper on it. It will just come off in certain spots. 
and then stay on in certain spots and then uh, it will look distressed. I really like doing this with baskets when I don't like the colors of them and I really think it makes it just something that I want to have in my house once I do that. There we go. Now it's time to work on the inside. We're going to be covering it. So I have a piece of this black and tan homespun material. Just got this a big, I don't know, a couple yards at Hobby Lobby quite a while back because I use a lot of it. So it just seemed to make sense to get a big bunch of it. And all I do is just kind of measure the sides. I want it to be a little bit longer so that it will cover the bottom as well. So I give it a little bit around the top uh, extra and then a little bit on the bottom extra. And then I roll the basket around to find out how long I want it as well. go and I just rip it off or you could cut it. So what I do is start with your the bottom edge I lay the basket down and then I put a bead of glue around the very edge and I just keep that part where I painted it black so that it's not covered. This is two-sided material but if you wanted to use a one-sided material you want to make sure that you have your wrong side up when you're doing this. So as I'm gluing down, I'd be looking at the wrong side of the material. Because what we're going to do is take that when we're done gluing it all the way around, it's going to get tucked down into the basket. And so the right side, it will be flipped. And so the right side would be showing once you put it in there. Just a little tip on that so that you would get the right side out when you're done. So I'm just gluing around the edge all the way around. Of course, when it's done, I'm going to have to re-glue some spots uh, and just kind of pull it up where I want it. But I'll show you how to do that when I get done with this part. I like lining my baskets because you never know what you're going to use them for. This could be used as a trash can and you could put a bag in there or whatever you use. You also could uh, put just some flowers in there and set it in a corner or it could be a catch-all for things so you never know if you're going to be able to see the inside. So I just tuck that all in. It looks messy right now but it will get fixed so it looks a little nicer. And so this is what I mean about going back around. Once you get that flipped inside you just put a little little bit of glue on spots where it doesn't quite either get glued very well or doesn't come up to the edge where you want it. Just give it a little glue and then I kind of roll the fabric up just a little bit to go where it needs to go. I have this piece of burlap that I cut off a bigger piece to go around the basket and all I'm doing here is just fraying the edges so um, it looks a little more rustic and distressed. And if I get pieces that come off longer or more than I want, I just trim it. And then you could keep the strings if they're long enough or you could throw them away. So I'm just going to start on the, what I would call the back, where the back seam would be. And I'm just going to go around and glue around the whole thing with this piece of uh, burlap. So once that's glued all the way around, I'm just going to go and kind of fluff up those frayed edges and just kind of get them to stand up a little more instead of flat. So there's going to be some that are going to be sticking up, some that will be flat. Uh, just giving it, just fluffing it, zhuzhing it up I guess you could say. 
So I got this big old rusty star and some of my floral wire and I'm going to put it through the hole and put that on the front of my basket. Uh, one that I did before I used a burlap flower from Hobby Lobby. I don't have any more of those and I thought I'd do a little something different with this basket. Uh, I have done several of these like this it's all a little bit different but I will tell you that they sell pretty quickly in my booth. I have maybe one left in there uh, out of all the ones that I've done. So they've sold pretty quickly and on Etsy as well. So I just ran the wire through the basket, lifted up the fabric that I had put in there, and just wrapped that wire around so that it would be nice and secure. And now just putting a little homespun tie on it fluffing that up and then she's all done. pass up this cute little cart at uh, the yard sale that I went to, the indoor yard sale. It was so cute and I don't really want to do too much to it except for decorate it up. The little front piece was a little bent and it was a little dusty dirty but besides that we just wiped it down and then added some greenery with pit berries, a couple of the rings and then this is one of my uh, candles that I grubby up. Those will be on my Etsy shop if you're interested in purchasing. The link will be down in the description. I did a bunch of them up. And then this is a little rooster that I had and I just decorated it up for my booth. all my thrift finds today and my trash to treasure picture frame that I think is my favorite one that I did over I am so glad that I was there to find it and to bring this picture back because it's just beautiful and I really feel like the black made it just pop the brown and black frame I think took away from it and was just too much and I think this just just looks so cute and you see the little faces of the sheep now where they were hiding before. So I'm glad you joined me today. I really appreciate it. Leave down in the comments which one your favorite is today. And I'll see you on the next one.